Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, preparing the surfaces of 3D printed molds. First I've showed you guys how to model airplanes on my channel, then I showed you guys how to do um, model the molds if you want to make a composite airplane so you can print out the molds. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the surfaces. Okay, after you 3D, uh, 3D printed your part, like this here. Now, what you need to do first is print the part, but make sure your printer is printing extremely well so the surface is perfect off the printer. So there's no work that needs to be done to it coming off the printer. And um, that way, again, it's just less work. And um, so here we have a part. And I don't know if you can see this, but this surface on here is flawless. I mean, just besides the um, printer lines, you can't really see them, but they are there um, nevertheless. And we'll need to fill those in, but um, we'll get to that. So we have this. Make sure your printer set up um, printing really well. Next, if you don't have a, um, a spray gun and a compressor, I wouldn't advise going out and buying one for this um, next step because it's really not needed. Oh, and I want to mention um, also that all my molds that I print, I use um, Polylight, excuse me, um, um, Polymakers PLA for this. I'm looking at the box here and this is Polylight. I just grabbed the wrong box, <laughs> but it's, um, I use um, Polymakers PLA to print my um, molds with. Okay, back to this again. I would not suggest going out and buying a spray gun and compressor unless you're gonna be painting um, later down the line and stuff like that. You know, you, know, if, um, you wanna use automotive paints and stuff like that. Then go ahead and buy that type of stuff. But for this purpose, um, just spraying primer, I suggest just buying a cheap um, spray gun, something like this. I think I paid maybe $25 for this, and it's great for um, shooting primer onto the surfaces. Yeah, so something like this, the mere $29. Now, I wouldn't use this to paint anything, but for priming the surfaces of these 3D printed molds, this works great, and it's cheap. So, again, unless you want to, um, um, you're going to be using your paint gun, the, the actual paint, and you need the paint to turn out really good, you know, then buy a compressor and a paint gun. And you don't have to buy anything ex expensive. You can buy a paint gun for, you know, um, somewhere around 50 or $60. And you can buy a pancake um, uh, compressor for around $100. So, you, you know, an investment around $150, $170, you can get the gun and the compressor, and um, which will work fine too. So if you have a gun, a compressor already, you'll be good to go also. But anyway, um, this primer here, Works great. It's a filler um, filler primer from Duplicolor. Only thing is, this is expensive. This can here, um, it's about $12 a can. And again, this works great on the surfaces of a mold, um, the 3D printed mold, for building up um, a layer so we can sand down. But this is expensive. Now, to do this, what I've done on this surface here, I would use this whole can. And so that's $12, which is, you know, uh, for smaller things, this is great. But for larger projects, you want something a little more economical. And that's when um, I use this um, primer surfacer. It builds up. I spray this out of um, the paint gun and it, you build, it builds up quite thick and it sands really easy. I, I haven't come across anything that sands um, easier than, um, you know, stuff like this and it works really well. So, once you have your 3D printed mold off your printer, working, you know, um, surfaces are smooth and stuff like that, then you're gonna spray on a heavy layer of primer, just, you know, thick. It doesn't matter how thick, and these cheap guns are good for doing that, laying down heavy layers. So, 
heavy layer on the surface like, uh, let's see here. This here, it's just red, but this had a heavy layer of primer first of this gray primer, the um, duplicolor that I sprayed on here first. And then um, I sanded that down with um, a 220 grit sandpaper. And then I just shot this red because I had some leftover red in a can. Um, the, um, the same thing from Duplicolor, um, same thing as the gray that I showed you, except this is sort of red rust color. And I just sprayed this on here. And there are no more um, um, print lines in here at all. This is just smooth. And the only line in here, you can't see it probably, it's where the two parts that I glued together, I still need to fill this um, right here. Just fill that some more and then um, shoot another color, uh, excuse me, not in the color, but a layer of primer over that and get that nice looking. All right. Next, sorry about that noise. There we go, that cancel that noise. <laughs> Next, what you want to do after you shoot your um, primer over the part, you want to feel the lines. Like, um, this mold here, we have lines in here, the part lines of this, that they're all glued together with. And you can use um, Bondo for that, but I just use some um, spotting putty for that. It dries fast, and um, the thing is, you can't put it on too thick or it'll crack on you. So sometimes I like to use Bondo um, for that, and Bondo is real cheap, and um, you just put it on thin, and it it uh, feels to line up a lot faster. And then you just sand on that. So once you do that, get this all the, um, these lines taken care of, then another heavy coat of primer. And um, after you shoot another heavy coat of primer on that, then you take um, 300 grit or 400 grit sandpaper and just go ahead and sand that down. And um, once you sand that down with three or 400 grit sandpaper, um, the surface is ready to be painted. So then what you do is um, I paint the surfaces black. So I just use this Rust-Oleum. If I don't feel like um, using automotive um, paint and because this is, um, it's just easier to work with over the gun. And um, I just, you know, can spray this up and there's no cleanup. Don't have to clean up a gun or anything like that. But you don't have to use Rust-Oleum. You can use any color you want to use over the, um, the primer. And once you get that all done, then you go back and sand that with um, 1,000 grit sandpaper, 1,500 grit, 2,000, 2,500 grit. Uh, just just um, how you want to um, shiny, you want to get your surfaces of your mold. And because this here, I haven't um, sanded this at all. And um, there's some little, um, dust particles in here that um, dropped on it while I was painting this outside and um, got on here. So I have to sand that down, but this is just strictly paint after I sanded the primer with 400 right onto here. Now I could go out with, uh, you know, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, et cetera, up to 3,000 if I want to do that. But I'm going to have to sand this to get the um, little dust specks off of here. And, um, but as you can see, this is the type of surface you will have, and this is very economical to do and very simple to do um, to get this type of finish. I just explained um, how to do that. Once again, just have your printer printing as best as it, as it can, so your parts are near perfect coming off. There's no um, imperfections or anything. Once you have your uh, part looking really good off the printer, next you're going to use the primer that I showed you, and you're going to use a cheap gun to spray that on a thick, heavy coat. Now, once you spray that thick, heavy coat on there, then you're going to sand that down um, first with 220. And pretty much that's going to fill all those printing lines. But then um, add on another coat, um, not as heavy as that first one, and just sand that down with 300 or 400. And once you sand that down, then spray your paint over it. Whatever paint you want to use, whether it be Rust-Oleum, Krylon, Automotive, paint that over it. And um, if you're using a two-stage paint, 
uh, where you use a, um, uh, a clear coat, then you have to shoot a clear coat over it, but I wouldn't suggest that. I would suggest using a single stage automotive paint with the clear already in it if you're gonna do that. Because that's just one more step that you don't wanna do. It's just um, a lot of work. So price-wise, um, doing a mold like this, the primer that I showed you, I think it's, um, it's around 50, 40 or $50 a quart, and then you buy the reducer, and I believe it's probably $18 versus the primer here in the can. Like I said, this is about, this is $12. And um, to do this complete mold, I'd probably use six of these cans or more. So I barely use any primer out of, um, out of this. So it's just cheaper to use this if, um, if you want to. And uh, buy a cheap gun, you know, just to, just spray the uh, primer um, on here. But once again, this is a type of finish you will get and it's very easy to do. And um, you can do, you don't have to use this technique just for surfaces of a mold. You, whatever 3D printed part you want to um, have a nice finish on it, just use the, um, this, um, this, these steps I just told you to do and you'll get that uh, finish like that. And so we go from this from this old off the printer, like this part here. Next stage, we'll have this here. And the next stage, you'll have this. And um, I just printed this canopy. This is for my um, um, chronic pattern plane that I've been working on and um, showing you guys how to model also. And that just fits in there like that. And then the other half goes on just like that. And there's that part again. And this is the other half of that. Set that there. And part off the printer. Again, I don't know if you can see that, but that part, it's near perfect, the surface on here. There's no imperfection. Just only thing is just the printer lines. And those are barely visible. And I showed you guys how to um, reverse engineer the Skywalker X8. And this is one of uh, the bottom mold that I 3D printed for that. And I just have to print the top mold for this. And um, I'm working on this. And again, this is that primer. I um, sprayed over this as a heavy coat. And what I wanna do here is just fill these lines in with, um, um, I'll probably use Bondo for this and um, because there's a gap up here and that spotting uh, putty will probably crack more than I want. So I'll probably fill this in with Bondo. And um, Bondo dries pretty fast and it um, sands pretty easy too. So um, after I do that, then uh, I'll spray another layer of um, heavy coat primer on it and um, do that. So let's see here. Then here I have my, um, again, um, this is part of the mold for my um, Quantic um, pattern plan. I've been showing you guys how to model on my channel. And this is um, a front portion of it here. And we have the uh, canopy. I'll get this over here without... Oops, this is the wrong way. This goes this way. And this is just the front of it. As we can see. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. Then we have the mold here and um subscribe for more.